Hey YouTube, it's me Krista, aka Krista Postal, here with another tutorial. And this time we are going to be doing Barrel from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Remember, Lock Jacques Barrel, the kids who took Santa Claus. So, here's going to be two different tutorials. One on how to make Barrel's mask, and the other one how to make you look like the animated version of Barrel. So, let's get started. Now, what you're going to first want to do is start off with a clean face. I painted my neck and I already painted my chest area. Now, I am wearing a onesie. I didn't go make one like barrels, but I already had a skull onesie, so that, it's kind of the same thing. And then I turned around and I'm using a glue stick to put down my eyebrows. So what I do is I swipe it a couple times and then with my finger, I go over it. It makes it a lot more smoother because with the warmth of the finger and it's just making it really flat. After that I am using Ruby's face paint and I'm applying that all over my face over the eyebrows and everything like that. Once you apply it you can either set it with translucent powder, baby powder, white powder or you can leave it just like that. I kind of just left it like that. It dries and then hardens, so it really makes no difference. Or at least for me. Now, I did do this version like an animated kind of version, the claymation, and then I did do it when I, um, like I didn't put the eyes on. So you'll see those in the pictures at the end of the tutorial, so you can see what kind of version you would want to do. Now, you're going to get some liquid latex and some makeup sponges, and you're going to apply the mouth. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the mouth. After you apply some black, because you're not going to want the mouth to show, you're going to start making your mouth. Now, what I did to make the mouth, uh, it stopped recording, so I'm going to explain it to you how you did it. It recorded only halfway. So I got a mannequin head and I used the back side of the mannequin head. And I just drew a mouth. So you can draw a mouth on a mannequin head or you can turn around and draw a mouth on a piece of paper. Something that's non-porous. Then after you draw it and you have it outlined and everything like that, you're going to make the teeth. How I make the teeth is that you're going to get some gelatin and that's equal parts of water gelatin and glycerin. You're going to mix it up and then put it in the microwave for 10 seconds, mix it up and then you should have your gelatin. So I put it on a, on a, on a plate so and I'm just making like these little teardrops. Once you get the little teardrops you're going to pick them up and then cut the little tear part and place it right onto your little I guess your outline. So what I did was I put some liquid latex down first so it can make it sticky so it has something to grab onto. So I did about two little thin layers and I dried it with a blow dryer. And then I turned around it and made and put the little teeth in each little drawing that I did. And then I put at least five layers of liquid latex really really thin and then blow dried it. Now the part where it didn't show is where I showed how to do the lips. The lips, it, all it is is some um, nose wax, little scar wax, and I rolled it up just into a little worm and I put it right on top and then of course right on the bottom and then I put some liquid latex to lock it in place. After I did that, then I painted it. I painted the lips blue and I painted the teeth white. I outlined everything in black. So if you do and you put enough layers of liquid latex, you're able to put it on and then take off the mouthpiece. You are able to, if you cut out the middle part, you're able to drink and talk and everything. You'll be fine with it and you can use it over and over and over again. So do a couple layers before you put on the teeth. Do a couple layers when you put on the little teeth. Put a couple layers when you put on the lips. And then go ahead and get your piece. Put liquid latex on the back of it and then apply it to your face. Now what I'm doing now is I'm getting some black face paint and I'm making, and my, I'm nose, making my nose, aka nostrils, a little bit longer. So because he has a little long piggy nose, kind of like upwards nose, I don't have that. I'm making my nose or the nostril part a little longer so that it can look a little bit more like him because we are doing the little claymation version of Barrel. So now with the little eyeball, you are going to 
just paint. It doesn't matter what color or paint you put on the back of the eyeball. You're just going to paint the back of the eyeball and press it against your skin so you more or less know the outline of where the eyeball is going to be. The reason for this is because Barrel has these dark circles. Now they're kind of, in certain pictures it's just black, certain pictures it's just purple, but the ones I look at it's kind of black mixed in with purple. So I'm using a black face paint and I'm just stippling it around and it's, you're not going to do it nice and even and everything. It's just supposed to look, you know, like you're tired or sunken in. So just do it with the black and then after I did it with the black I turned around and I grabbed some purple eyeshadow and then put it right on top of the black so it's really really simple especially if you're doing it really messy so you just want to do it where you know it's going to be the eyeball and then that because the eyeball is going to really really stick out you can use any purple eyeshadow it doesn't really matter now where I got the eyeballs from was the Dollar Tree you get four in a pack and one was pink and the other one was yellow so with pure acetone, you can remove the little paint that's on it, but because I'm super lazy, I just got some acrylic paint and some black paint, and I just painted it white and then black. Because Barrel only has like these white eyeballs with the little pupil. Like he doesn't have no color, no nothing, and it's just a little small little eyeball. And then, of course, he has the dark circles. So that's all you're going to do. Now, these already have a little dot inside of them. And you can make the dot either a little bit bigger so you can see, but I was able to see perfectly fine. So it's totally up to you if you want to make that little hole bigger or you want to leave the hole exactly the same. Now I put mine on with liquid latex. You can definitely put yours on with spirit gum, especially if you're going to be like jumping around and you're going to have it all, all night. But mine stayed on with liquid latex for a couple hours, so it's totally up to you and how you want to put it on. So you're just going to put some liquid latex or spirit gum on the back of the little eyeball and then... If you have spirit gum, you're going to tap it until it gets tacky and then place it on your eye. If you have liquid latex, wait a couple seconds till it dries and it gets tacky and then put it right on your eyeball. And then you'll be able to see out the little holes. People can't see the holes, but it does have the holes. So if you're a girl, you can put on a wig. He has green, uh, he has a green hair. But if you're a boy, you can turn around and just spray your hair green. Now remember, these are the clay version. I'm doing the clay version of the Nightmare Before Christmas Barrel. So... On the video, you can't see the fact that the mouth is sticking out, the teeth are sticking out, the eyeballs are sticking out, but it is. Now, if you want to see how I did the mask, stay tuned for the video. It's coming up really, really soon. Sorry I couldn't put music on this, you guys. Um, I've already tried adding this video with music, and it did not allow me to. They removed the video, and I tried with already three different songs three different instrumentals and still nothing. So, I hope y'all don't mind that there's no music or no nothing. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope it's simple. I hope it's easy. And I will see you guys in the next video. And one more thing. If you don't want to be super, super white, you don't want to look like the claymation version of the barrel, then you could turn around and do your skin really, really pale. And then, of course, for the ladies, you could just smoke out your eyes, use some contacts, and then use the same mouthpiece. So there's two different versions right there. Um, I have pictures and a little video, so check them out. Continue watching it until it's done so you can see the little different varieties of it. And I uh, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.